Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be on how to create this look I have going on right now. It's a really cool, purpley, cool toned, blue mascara kind of look. I love doing looks like this because I feel like when you're trying to dabble into color, especially for beginners or those of you who like to wear neutrals so much, this is such a great way to dabble into it by using colored liner and colored mascara. You know me, like I don't like to just do neutral looks all the time. I like to do kind of different looks. I like to do like red liner and I like to do like bright ass blue liner. Like I think it's fun to incorporate color in a fun way like that. That's just kind of my style. That's what I like to do. And so I wanted to bring my style, bring it down a couple notches into a little bit more in the neutral field, but still colorful in a way, you know what I'm saying? And I think this lip complements this look so well because it is so neutral, but it still has a little a little glisten of gloss, a little gloss and glisten, you know what I'm saying? If you guys wanna see how I created this look, please continue to watch. Um, if you guys don't like this kind of video, if you guys don't like me, don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. You know the drill with that. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. But other than that, I'll get you to the tutorial. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's start the shenanigans that are about to be commenced. I don't know, I'm just kind of hyper and the lights are really bright and I have no makeup on, so we're just gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. That's what we're gonna call this video, chit chat, get ready with me. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Morphe E14. Oh, by the way, brows are already done and my eyes are primed. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Morphe E14 and the new Battle Lash palette. I'm so stoked about this palette, it's so freaking beautiful and I'm so proud of the girls for doing this. It's just so cool, like being able to collab with the brand, like that's such a huge deal, like collabing with the brand is a huge deal, like, you know, like collabing with the brand is such a huge deal. I'm gonna go and take the shade Vanilla on my Morphe E14. And that is going to be our brow bone highlight. Powders are so pigmented, like these shadows. <laughs> it's such a beautiful, like, matte, white, creamy highlight. Would I use this if I was darker in tone? I don't think I would because it is extremely light and it could possibly look ashy on the darker skin tone girls and boys in the world. So just be cautious of that. I'm also going to just take a Morphe E27 and put that shadow all over the eye, actually. Just kind of set the base I had down first. So I'm going to go ahead and take Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek, Unexpected by Makeup Geek, combined. And that's going to go on a Morphe E27, which is like my obsession blending brush. So we're going to take that into the crease. This eye look is going to be seriously so... Easy, like I'm pretty stoked about it because it's so simple. I want the focus to be more on the liner. We're just giving some dimension to the crease and what not. What not? Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the color Nova, which is like a sangria ish type rusty purpley. That's what it looks like. I can't explain it, okay? I'm sorry. And I'm gonna take that on Morphe M433 and I'm gonna do a very small little dash of that. Nothing too crazy. Just a slight outer corner definition adding, like very slightly. Can you see that? These freaking shadows are pigmented as shit. What's up, sauce box? Hey. I'm just gonna take that slightly into the crease, very slightly because I don't like shimmering colors in my crease. It's just not my thing. And then take that same E27 and blend out those edges. Take a little bit more of the black from that palette on the Morphe M433 and just slightly push that in. To the outer corner only very lightly little baby strokes baby motions and blend oh yeah i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab an e23 play morphe i'm just gonna kind of clean up those edges just kind of blend out any harsh lines that might be there even if there aren't harsh lines i have a weird obsession with like making sure that everything is like blended like to filth and perfection like blended to filth you know? There you go, I feel better about myself now. I feel like it's more blended. There's a lot of like extra darkness out here, but it doesn't really matter because I'm doing a wing anyway and I haven't even done my face yet. So it doesn't matter. Now for the star of the little show, the new Benefit Vario Push-Up Liner in the shade Purple. I love this color. I love a deep, deep, deep purple liner. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The Their Real Liners and the Their Real Mascaras, the new ones, come out today. I am a Benefit Pretty Committee member, so I have it early. As you guys know previously, I've told you guys that already. So I'm really stoked that they came out today. You should definitely go check them out. I love the brown and the purple one the most. I'm gonna use the purple right now. I'm gonna take the little purple. All you need to do is crank it and go on in. I guess we're going thick today. I guess we're going thicker than Beyonce's thighs. Cool. So I'm just going to go take a little bit of concealer on a flat brush and I'm just going to clean up that wing because I want it to be slightly thinner on the outer corner. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. So this is what the top of the eye should look like. A nice purple intense liner giving the attention of the peeps. Crease is nice and neutral. Sounds good. I'm going to go finish the top of the eye on this side real quick and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash line after I do my face and foundation. I am gonna be using one of the new um, Benefit mascaras, so stay tuned for that shit. But yeah, I need to do the face first because obviously I can't just do like mascara and then do concealer because it's just not gonna work, trust me. Cool, so I'm already primed. My face is primed with the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm gonna be using my, the love of my life, the Dior Airflash 
300. I'm gonna say 300, not the, it's not the version 300. And I'm gonna be actually taking this on the new Elite E6 by Morphe. I noticed that this foundation goes on a lot better with flat top kabukis for me. I love using this with the flat top kabuki the best now, even more than like my round, like my round big kabuki from Morphe. I love this one more. And just spray that bitch up because you know I like that coverage. You know I do. It's so good. I think that with the flat top kabuki, it just gives me an airbrushed finish, and I really love that. And I'm just pressing it in. I'm not like whirling in circles or anything like that. I'm just really pressing it in to give me the coverage I want, as well as kind of go into my little pores and the nasty shit that I want to be covered. Press that bitch in. I think that's why I like using it with this brush is because it presses on foundation so nicely and so just like flawless in every single way, shape, or form. Notice that my neck is pale as shit. Um, it's because I'm pale and that's why I like to wear higher shirts. I didn't have any clean shirts today, so I have to wear this one, which makes me expose my neck a lot more. I don't like to be as pale as my neck is, I just don't. I like to be a little bit more tan on the face. Just in case people are wondering, like, why the hell is your foundation way darker than your neck? Because I want it to be. I'm gonna take a little bit down my neck. The liquid, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna take it down my neck, I don't care. Usually I don't take liquids down my neck, but thug life. I'm just gonna take it down to, like, my beard area, and then I'll use a powder for the rest of my neck. And don't forget your ears. I always forget my ears. I am 95, no, <laughs> I'm 99% sure that this is the prettiest foundation that I own. It just looks so perfect. I die. I die, I die a thousand deaths. Okay, now for the under eyes, we're gonna be using a combination of Urban Decay Weightless Concealer combined with my MAC Prep and Prime underneath the eyes. I love this combination, it's so full coverage, feels absolutely amazing, it looks really, really, really nice. And the MAC Prep and Prime really dilutes the concealer and it makes it look so much brighter and prettier. And this is why I didn't do mascara on the bottom because I was gonna be doing this step. Imagine putting this on top of mascara, like that's not cute. And then I'm gonna use my Morphe G2 and press this in, you guys know. I love me some G2 by Morphe. I'm gonna take that all the way back. Very drag, very drag queen. All the way up to the lash line and up to the eyeliner, but very carefully. Don't fuck with the liner because it will mess up and it will bite you in the ass. Now it looks really bright and luminous in that section. Let me go ahead and set that bitch with some powder because I will crease. Okay, now I'm gonna go and take the Morphe M438, which is the setting brush I always use for like literally everything, and my little Melora Mercier translucent powder. No, it's not translucent. This is the secret brightening powder. I get a good old dollop. I get a lot of this shit, honestly. I just love it. And I'm just gonna press that in over my concealer. And now my under eyes are set. Well, one is. This one is the awake side and this is the... Don't fuck with me, it's three in the morning side. Cool. Awesome, the both of the eyes are now concealed and brightened and look so much better than what they were. I'm actually gonna go and use the MAC Prep and Prime Pen, the light boost, to highlight more of the face. I mean, why the hell not? I'm already here. Um, G2. It's just to kind of help balance out the rest of the face when you highlight other parts of the face. It really helps balance out everything. Instead of just doing it under the eye, it helps when you highlight other parts of the face so it doesn't look so like Gnarls Barkley, you know? We are highlighted and beat into death. Beat to death. We're gonna go and take the Morphe G0, which is my favorite powder brush, basically of all time. Now it's everything, it's everything. It's look how big this fucking thing is. It's everything. So I'm gonna go and take the MAC Medium Mineralized Skin Finish with that G0, and I'm just gonna press that all into the face to set the foundation. I love the Mineralized Skin Finish to set the Dior Air Flash because it gives you a luminous, not so, not luminous, it gives you like a nice satin finish. So I love using the Mineralized Skin Finish with the Dior Air Flash. I think it looks stunning. And it's still like full coverage, but like pretty full coverage, you know? Make if I have a pro finishing powder in 118, same G0, and I'm gonna take that down my neck just to kind of help blend it together with the super lightness of my decollete because I'm probably gonna get so many call outs with how weird my body looks compared to my face. <laughs> That's better, right? Now it looks like much more like conjoined, like I'm the same actual color instead of being a pasty ghost down here and like a bronze goddess up here. We're gonna go and take the bronzer in Hula. Little Hula Hoos. Little Hula Hoom. And I'm gonna take that on a Morphe E2, which is the bronzer brush I use for literally everything. And I'm just gonna press that into the temples of my face. I run that in. I like this bronzer a lot because I feel like it's kind of neutral. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's just a nice neutral bronzer that's matte. Great for men. Great for men. Some more bronzer on my right side. It's not fair, I need like a little clip for my hair. Girls get to use clips, I don't get a clip. My hair wouldn't say clip back though. <laughs> the cheekbones. So I'm gonna go take the Shade and Light Palette by Cavon D on my same Morphe M438 and I'm just gonna take that banana shade and press that into the under eyes of my eye. Just to kind of bring some more brightness and light back to my face. I love using this banana shade because it's so brightening and also kind of makes it look more sharp. Like I have more cheekbone than I really do because I really don't. <laughs> 
really don't. So I have to kind of fake it with bronzer and contour and highlight. Now I'm gonna go and take my Morphe E3 brush and I'm gonna take a Tarte blush today. We're gonna use Tarte because I love Tarte blushes. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. I'm gonna take the color Blissful, which is just a little daring for me. I feel like this is a little daring for me. I don't ever use blushes of this color. I'll just do a little baby tap. That's nice. It's really beautiful. It's like a like, rosy, it's like a rosy pink. This blush is really giving it to me right now. <gasps> hmm. Obviously, this is not a look without a highlighter. So, Gerard Cosmetics launched another highlighter. This one's in the shade Audrey. It's like a white gold. I'm gonna take it on Morphe M501. Just load the brush up slightly because they are, it's really pigmented, so be careful. I'm gonna highlight with this. Mm-hmm, yeah, I know. Do you know what this color reminds me of? It reminds me of NARS Albatross. It has like that really golden, intense sheen, but it's like a white powder. I think it's so beautiful. Oh my God, I can't tell if I like this one or Marilyn more. I love highlighter. It's, I feel like highlighter is like the one thing that I can just be like, okay, cool, let's go ahead and finish the bottom of the eyes now because the face is basically done. I just need to do lips after. But let's finish the eyes. So the bottom of the eyes are gonna be pretty freaking simple, and I mean like simple as shit. I'm gonna take Beaches and Cream mixed with Uninterrupted. I'm just gonna run that on the outer corner of my eye with a beautiful, beautiful E36 Morphe pencil brush, my favorite pencil brush of life, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the Battle Lash Black again on the same pencil brush, and I'm gonna run that on the outer corner of my eye, just like darken it slightly. And then I'm just gonna feather that forward. I don't want a lot of pigment there. I just want a little bit of definition on the outer corner, not so much like black color. Like that, so it looks kind of smoky on the outer corner, but it's not too crazy. Not too crazy, but it's still smoky. Now I'm gonna take the Benefit There Real Mascara in the shade blue, and I'm gonna put the blue on the bottom lash line. I think it'll just make the look like, I don't know, like come together in a cool way. I don't know, it's fucking weird. Cause this blue is so vibrant and I'm like, yes, like yes. Be careful because obviously like this is a big ass wand so i want to be careful applying that blue and it should look like so see these launch today as well as i said earlier but i think it looks absolutely beautiful and i love blue mascara i love blue mascara okay cool so the blue mascara is on the bottom lashes now and i haven't put any on the top because i'm not going to do blue mascara on top putting like colored mascara on the top is not really my style so i'm just gonna go and stick to my favorite mascara of life roller lash mascara from benefit <sighs> this mascara is everything and i have it just works really good for me, honestly. It's so good. Yes, mascara. I'm gonna take the New Balance Some Lashes in the style Devin Rex, which is like these weird, flared, really cool ones. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. I've never worn these lashes before. They're brand new. There's something about new lashes that makes me just like, mm, like happy, you know? Oh my God, these lashes are so natural. What the fuck? So this is what the lashes look like. This is with one on. It's like a little, like they're flared in the center. And the reason I decided to do more of the natural lashes is because I want the focus to be on the liner. I really want people to tell that I have purple liner on. And I think with a really thick lash band, it's a lot harder to tell. But this is what the little lash looks like. Yeah. And this is the look with the lashes on. These lashes are so adorable. Like they're just really like cute and flary and not too intense whatsoever. I wanted intense though. I wanted fierce. It's because the bellows are sold out, so I didn't want to talk about them, but next time I'm talking about them, I don't even care. I don't even care. They're my favorite lashes for a reason. Let me zoom you guys in to see what the final eye looks like. <laughs> okay, cool. So that was the eye look. Now it is the time for the leapy. So I'm going to take my boo, pick a boo, new true. Pick a new true by NYX. That's my boo. <laughs> Ooh, lip line and perfection. Lashes and lip lining are my favorite part of makeup, I think. Like, I feel like they transform me the most. Like, whatever this is, like, they turn me into that. And then I'm gonna go and take the color Cella by ColourPop, which is their newest launch of their little, like, summer line, I guess. It's like a little lippy pencil. It's a beautiful, beautiful, like, coral pink. Like, it's like a peachy coral pink. This is what it looks like just by itself. I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of the ColourPop lippy sticks. She got chills. Like, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and top it off with Candy Kiss Jory Cosmetics Gloss, which is actually Shanexo's collaboration color. I've been meaning to use this in a tutorial, but I never was wearing, like, a coral lip. I wanted to pair this with. It's a beautiful peachy pink nude. It's gorgeous. And I'm just gonna use this to lighten up this color a little bit more because... The focus is on the eyes, on the ojos. <laughs> Huge congrats to Shanexo for creating this color. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And this is what the final look looks like. 
And yeah, that was it for the final look. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I think it turned out really, really, really nice, and I absolutely loved filming it for you guys. You guys know I like to film tutorials a lot, but I also love doing personal videos as well, a wide variety of things on my channel, so I like filming tutorials as well as filming, like, weird shit. If you guys have any suggestions for any videos that you want me to do coming up, please let me know, because you guys know I love reading your comments, and you guys know I love replying to you guys, because... I don't know, you guys just make me happy in. But yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anything else to say other than that. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the other stuff. I like to ask you guys questions on all those things, so please feel free to follow me on those because I like to engage with you guys. You guys know what I'm saying. I like to engage with you bitches, so. I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> why, is her, why is it so crusty? Oh, man. Ew, I hate that feeling of crust. Hate crust. These lips are so DSL. Ooh, I just want a motorboat or something. I look so chunky right now. Why? Why do I look like a crack whore? I just do. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, daddy. Yeah. I stutter, you guys. I think I have a problem. Maybe I drink too much Dico. Do you think that's what it is? Do you think if I drink too much caffeine, I stutter? What do you think? Let's ponder. What's that from? <laughs> But all the blush is really pretty. <laughs> Too much powder! This hair is really driving me bonkers. Ew, who says bonkers? Ew, I hate myself. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be... That was really quick. That was quicker than the quickestness of the quick. These pimples, you see this shit? They're out to play. <laughs> Don't look at them, seriously. Like, what are you, you little bitch? No, what's on the top?